Here's lesson 5 and 13 hundredths, more multi-step multiplication number stories. Oh boy! So why are we looking at multi-step number stories again? Well, because we need lots of practice. This takes some getting used to. But with these problems today, we're going to use a table. And you're going to have one just like this in your book. And as you can see, we're looking at uh, different kinds of food options, how many pieces and items are in a package, the number of packages that are needed, and the cost per item. So let's take a look at the first problem that I'm going to have you try to solve today. Dan and his buddy want to get food for their friends. How much will it cost for sandwiches and baked potatoes? So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to look at the sandwiches row here and we see going across that there's five uh, items per package, there's 18 um, packages needed and they're six dollars. And then we're going to look at the baked potatoes. Same deal, we've got 10 items per package, number of packages needed nine, and we've got two dollars. So in order to set this problem up, we're actually going to take the sandwiches, which are going to be 5 times 18 times $6, and we're going to put that in parentheses, and we're going to add the baked potatoes, which will be 10 times 9 times $2 equals X. And this is how we would set up the problem. So the first set of parentheses is all the information that we need for the sandwiches. And the second set of parentheses is all of the information we need for the baked potatoes. And it tells us that they're wanting sandwiches and baked potatoes. So that's how I know we're going to add all of that together. So what I've done here is I have gone ahead and I have multiplied my 18 times my 5, which I got from here, and I got 90. Then I took that 90 times 6 that I moved down here and got a total of 540. So this side of my equation equals 540. And then what I did was the second side, I took my 10 times my 9, which gave me 90. I took that times 2 which gave me $180. And then all I have to do is add my 540 plus my 180, and this is all money, so I'm gonna put my dollar sign. I add those together, and I get $720. So let's take a look at this next problem. Sally and her friend love burritos, but they are trying to decide how much it will cost for burritos and corn on the cob. How much will it cost? So again, we're gonna take a look at the chart and we're gonna look specifically at burritos going all the way across all of these numbers and we're gonna look at corn on the cob, all of these numbers, and we've gotta set up an equation. So, burritos, parentheses, eight times 13 times $3, and we're adding them together once again and then my corn on the cob, parentheses, four times 24 times $2 equals A. Okay, and again, we're just gonna work that problem out just like we did before to come up with our final cost of both items. So in class, we will practice some more solving some multi-step multiplication number stories and then you're going to have to share and explain steps for solving those number story problems. See you then.